Welcome once again to our video daily devotions, Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Pastor Poppy. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we turn to the book of Proverbs, the Old Testament reading for the second Sunday after Trinity, Proverbs chapter 9, verses 1 through 10. Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn her seven pillars. She has slaughtered her beasts. She has mixed her wine. She has also set her table. She has sent out her young women to call from the highest places in the town. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. To him who lacks sense, she says, Come, eat of my bread and drink of the wine I have mixed. Leave your simple ways and live and walk in the way of insight. Whoever corrects a scoffer gets himself abuse. And he who repro reproves a wicked man incurs injury. Do not reprove a scoffer or he will hate you. Reprove a wise man and he will love you. Give instruction to the wise man and he will be still wiser. Teach a righteous man and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's always fun when we turn to the book of Proverbs. Rarely do we have 10 verses in a row that, that really stick to the same subject. We have wisdom sayings that jump in and out, such is the case in our text, although it is loosely together in these 10 verses. Wisdom has built her house. O come, O wisdom from on high, we sing in that great Advent slash Christmas hymn, O come, O come, Emmanuel. God's Word teaches us that wisdom is another name for God. Specifically, wisdom is a name for the Messiah, the Savior, Jesus. And so we see here that wisdom has built her house. Wis wisdom is throwing a banquet. Wisdom is inviting all those who are simple to come into the banquet. Now, God's Word is not throwing a slam at people who have a low IQ. What He's doing is He is inviting us to humble ourselves before the Lord. In Psalm 18, we know that God saves a humble person, but the haughty eyes he brings down. When we are full of pride and hubris, we have no need for God. We have no need for God's word. And so God asks us to humble ourselves, to simply be simple and listen to the Word of God. Not to check our brain at the door, but to humble ourselves before the Word. He has set His banquet feast before us, the banquet of the forgiveness of sins, life and salvation, earned by the death and resurrection of Jesus, prepared for the whole world. Jesus died for all people, for all sin, and for all time, that means he died for you who live at this time, for all your sin, past, present, and future. The banquet table is set. Come and eat. Believe that the word of God, believe that the forgiveness of sins, believe that the justification Christ earned is yours. Feast at his table. My friends, when we are wise in the Word of God. We will hear His Word. We will believe His Word. We will let his, his Word, God's Word, have its way with us. But when we are full of ourselves, we have no use for God's Word. It runs off us like water runs off of Pastor Moline's pet ducks. My friends, God's word for today culminates with this wonderful verse, Proverbs 9, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. The fear of the Lord is God's wonderful way of describing faith. First commandment, God says, you shall have no other gods before me. Literally, you shall have no other gods in my face. 
Luther teaches us that that first commandment means that we should fear, love, and trust in God. The Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, above all things. What kind of things? Persons, places, things, or ideas. All good gifts from God, we, in our foolishness, turn into idols. No. The fear of the Lord, faith in God, is the beginning of wisdom. God has in store for us the treasures of all his wisdom. He teaches us this wisdom every time we hear his word, sing his word, pray his word, listen to his word taught or preached to us. The fear of the Lord, faith, is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. Do you seek true insight? Then humble yourself before the Word of God. Read it. Learn it. Mark it. Memorize it. Inwardly digest it. Because the Word of the Lord is life. Life from the Holy One. Just last week, as we sang, holy, 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 celebrating Trinity Sunday, we know that God is holy and that we are not. But he has made you holy by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. My friends, live in that holiness that God has given you. Live in his righteousness. Seek his wisdom and his insight. Hear the word of the Lord and believe it. Thanks be to God. Amen.